Which can include... <laughs> I too lost. <laughs> Hi, my name's Shannon and I'm a neuroscience PhD candidate. I'm here to explain to you exactly what happens to your brain as you drink. Here we go. <laughs> Once swallowed, this drink travels to your stomach where about 10% of the alcohol is absorbed, and then on to your small intestines where the rest is absorbed into your bloodstream. As our liver can only metabolize about 15 milligrams per deciliter per hour, one drink per hour is all your body can effectively metabolize. Anything above this leads to alcohol accumulation in the bloodstream, leading to intoxication symptoms. Alcohol is metabolized in your liver by two main enzymes, alcohol dehydrogenase and aldehyde dehydrogenase. First, alcohol is metabolized by alcohol dehydrogenase into acetaldehyde, which is a toxic compound. Buildup of this stuff is thought to be the reason for your nasty hangover symptoms. Acetaldehyde is then metabolized by aldehyde dehydrogenase into acetic acid, also known as vinegar. When I drink, I like to think of myself as a cute little vinegar factory. After two drinks, the signs of intoxication may begin to surface. You may think it's a good idea to send that text or to insert yourself between a conversation between two strangers. But why does alcohol do this? GABA neurons are inhibitory neurons, or the stop neurons on your brain. By activating GABA receptors, alcohol works to increase firing of these stop neurons, therefore decreasing overall activity in certain areas of the brain. It doesn't stop there though. Alcohol has the ability to squirm its way into glutamate. Squirm its way into glutamate receptors. Glutamatergic neurons are excitatory neurons, or your go neurons. So alcohol finds another way by inhibiting these glutamatergic neurons to decrease overall brain activity in certain areas. One of these areas is the prefrontal cortex. I like to think of it as the mom of your brain. So as you drink, activity of the prefrontal cortex goes down, making you less like your mom and more like your crazy aunt. But I know what you're saying. But alcohol makes me feel good. And there's a science behind that. Alcohol causes increased firing of dopamine-releasing neurons. Now, dopamine is your feel-good neurotransmitter. Dopamine also causes the reinforcing effects of alcohol, thus causing you to grab for that next drink. Bottoms up. At about three to five drinks, or a blood alcohol concentration of 50 milligrams per deciliter, additional side effects of intoxication may begin to surface. This may include incoordination or lack of balance. Now this is due to alcohol's effects on the cerebellum. The cerebellum is in charge of coordination. It interacts with your peripheral nerves in your arms and leg to coordinate coordination. It's important to note that chronic use of alcohol can result in chronic impaired nerve damage, which can include, <laughs> I'm too lost. Permanent damage to long, <laughs> permanent damage to nerve tissue, permanent damage to nerve tissue and causing permanent imbalance. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's bad. At 10 drinks, at 10 drinks, the sounds of, at 10 drinks, the signs of alcohol intoxication start to get rough and include vomiting, nausea, and pterograde amnesia blackouts, and marked slurring of speech. Now after 10 drinks, things get even worse. And side effects include hypothermia, hypoventilation, cardiac arrhythmia. Now, I'm no idiot, so I'm not gonna do that. But never forget, alcohol is poison. Did you get that one?